Ah, the curious case of Forrest Fenn and his smelly old hat with a big bullet hole in it that he called mildew. Here's the scoop, this fella vehemently declared he'd never wear that hat, it reeked to high heaven. But lo and behold, once his clandestine secret was figured out by a wise old guy, suddenly there he was toe-to-toe -to -toe with the old wise guy, sporting smelly old mildew. Now, how does this relate to the age-old phrases, I'll eat my hat, or, eating his words? Well, it's a classic tale of someone thinking they've concocted an uncrackable riddle, only for someone to come along and decipher it with ease. It's the ultimate lesson in not underestimating the wit and intelligence of senior citizens. So, in the end, our dear man Forrest found himself munching on a heaping serving of humble pie along with his odoriferous headgear. Oh, the irony. He knew the old wise guy would be at his 2017 Fenbury gathering and brought mildew just to see who was paying attention, only the hired media photographers knew. He staged ceremonial cryptic Masonic symbolized photos with the old wise guy and then told his grandson to fetch old mildew from his car for more pictures with the old wise guy while wearing the holy hat of stench he called mildew symbolizing defeat. Later in 2017 Forrest released his third memoir entitled Once Upon a While after Eric Sloan's book Once Upon a Time in America. Once Upon a Time is a common lead into a fairy tale or folk tale which generally all end with, and they lived happily ever after, the end. Then in 2018 he released a second edition adding a story about Dizzy Dean who was number 17 and died on July 17, 1977 signifying the chase was over in 2017. Over the next three years he plotted his cover story hiring a spoof writer from The Onion a satirical prankster fake news publication to turn interest away from the actual finder to protect the true finder from brutal vicious jockeys of jealousy and hate with their contemptuous gaslighting and lawsuits. These truly stupid trolls use gaslighting tactics, making up complete bullshit lies about other searchers and passing it off as fact in their attempt to place themselves on top and remove anybody who tries to expose their slanderous lies.